It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1531, recorded Thursday, August 13th, 2015. A flash in the dark. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by Harry's. For guys who want a great shave experience at a fraction of what you're paying now, go to harrys.com. Get $5 off your first purchase by entering code Gizwiz when you check out. It's time for the Gizwiz on this episode. We're going to cover some jams. We're also going to make our own little movies. And I have the crappiest corner gadget ever. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Yeah. Now. It is time for the Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. And here he is, Dick D. Bartolo himself. How wow. Mean? Yeah. Wow. We got you. I and mean, after did, yes. there's months and months of negotiations. Yes. Finally, you know, I have a little, a little disappointing news. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, in New York City, they just released the Pope's itinerary when he comes to the city. Oh, yeah. And he's not coming by Disneyland. No. Yeah, I know. How did so he not? How did, uh, you, you sent the invitation, right? I sent the invite, and I said you can be part of the Gizwiz, or you could even be Pope Celebrity of the Week on Giz Fizz, but didn't work out. Oh, man. Man, you would think that someone like the Pope would want to become Celebrity of the Week. He's not, I mean, not a lot of people know about him. Yeah, um, exactly. You know, I think he'd Ex want that, that recognition. Exactly. I mean. Exactly. But he did ask if he could borrow my transit pass. So that's, uh, I said, sure. Yeah, sure. there you go. There you go. I said, I'm only there for three days. I don't want to buy a whole $20 Right. The pass. Pope Mobile, it's a little difficult to ship, you know, across seas. <laughs> exactly. exactly. We're going to a little bit more economical for the church. Exactly. Blame Padre is what uh, Nick with a C says. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, and how was your week, sir? Was this week it good? has been fantastic. Uh, this week uh, it has been, I've been trying to retool a lot of my schedule and uh, figure out how I can um, do different projects. And uh, I had to let go of some other projects. But all together, it's been a fantastic week. And uh, mm. moving forward, it's really, really good. Really good. Good. Yeah. I know, got your uh, letter. We were having. Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, oh, well, oh, oh, yes. You know, I sent you. You had the excuse machine. Uh huh. I do. And yours arrived dead, as mine was dead in the warehouse. Yeah, doesn't work. Right, and so I sent you some spare batteries. Right, I got all sorts so, of stuff from you. <laughs> well, you know what? It's what we talked about. When it's a flat rate envelope, there's no, there's no it's reason five dollars and five cents for whatever fits in the envelope. Yeah, yeah. And it was, a, it was amazing because I mailed it Wednesday. Uh, I mailed it Monday. It's, and yeah. All the way to California from New York, and it got there Wednesday, right? I already mailed two-day shipping. It's quite nice. That's yeah, my P.O. box, five, by the way, over here. I'm sorry? The P.O. box is where you, you sent that. Uh, oh, should I not have done that? Oh, no, no, no. That's great. It's great. It's, it oh, okay. just means I can show it on stream. It's just everybody ship stuff there. Oh, oh, um, I got it. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I remembered, you know, being a bargain shopper, I found that you could buy one of those batteries for like $3 or 10 of them for like $10. And so I don't know what in God's name I could ever do with 10 of them because they're weird <laughs> batteries. So I'm so glad you needed one. Yeah. Because well, aren't they strange? It, it's like a it's like a double decker battery. There's a, yeah, there's there's two Except, here. I'll, let me rip it out here. And yeah, and then we'll off. show you. It, it, it's a double uh, height battery, but the bottom battery and the battery above it are two different uh, diameters. Uh, I, uh, it's the first time I ever saw a battery like that. Oh man, this is quite difficult. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, it's like raised. Yeah. Look at that. That is the weirdest thing. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Yeah. Oh my God. So now so, I'm glad I bought ten. So at least I got rid of two more. In yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Pink. 
because they'll probably they'll probably <laughs> wear out more than from you from use wear out from age. That, I'm sorry, oh, I Dick. I gotta it. go. They're they're on to me. They're on to me. Oh my! Where are you? Uh, well, right now I'm I'm about ready to catch a plane. You can hear. Oh, that's that's my flight, Dick. I got I gotta run. I gotta run. I'm gonna have way too much fun with this. Well, anyway, let's go getting ready for the Gizwiz. Oh, oh, someone's calling. Oh, someone's calling, on... calling in. Oh. Hello, this is the operator. You have an urgent call on the line requesting. Oh my gosh, I have an urgent oh, okay, call on the Chad, line. I'll see you again. We'll have to talk about mom's jams and jellies another time. <laughs> what is? I didn't know if you knew, but I have a baby. <laughs> oh <laughs> They're my crying. word! Oh no. Oh, uh, you better go feed the baby. Yeah. I like this is bad reception. I'm sorry, you're breaking. What? You're, you're breaking up, Dick. I. Uh, uh what is it? Up. Uh, <laughs> This is too fun. Um, is, I'm really glad that, that I, I got excuse that. Excuse machine. You can, you can find the details on... The, oh, it's the excuse last, box. Not last week's show. Two, two weeks ago show. Excuse yes. machine. Excuse box. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> excuse box, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm so, thank you for sending over those, uh, those batteries. But I also, look at this. I got... Uh, uh, did did I get a so I got one copy of Mad Magazine? Here's the old old. Uh, that's the issue that's just going off sale. And then this uh, new, which has the pocket hose in it. This and one's not even the released yet. That's just coming on sale. The October issue. And oh, you know what? Do you have? You, do you take public transit? No, I tend to not. Sometimes you tend I to do. not. Okay. Okay. Um, in New York City and uh, and Chicago, I believe. They are running a lot of public service uh, posters on how to behave on public transit. <laughs> and if you look toward the end of that mad book, you'll see, and they're just stick figures, and it's things like, don't be, don't be a pole hog, and don't manspread. It's <laughs> like in the man last spread. four or five pages, I think, of the magazine. Uh, don't uh, don't bring food on the uh, on, on the subway or the bus. <laughs> and so, okay, here I'm on anyway, spy I, versus I, spy. I should, I should have folded it over for you. Am I going too far here? Let's keep. No, it should I have see. been. <laughs> it should have been right near the end of the book. Uh, um, oh, I don't have a copy here. Um, that's okay. I found him. I found him. Here okay. we are. On public transportation, courtesy of counts. Um, yes. Don't. <laughs> no, see, like, dude. So, don't st don't manspread. <laughs> upside yeah, down. If you want to manspread, you should do it on your head. <laughs> yep. Yep. Because that way your legs will be over people and won't annoy them. Right. Right. Uh, and, we have the uh, keep sound down. Make sure that if you're. Uh, you're on your phone. Conversations uh, oh, a tad louder than the other other amplified announcement. Screeching breaks. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's in the uh, October issue. That's yeah, great. and and like grab the poll at the very bottom, because that way you won't be a, uh, other people can use the rest of the poll. So right, lay exactly. on the floor. See, this is lay just on the floor of the sense. subway or the bus, and hold the poll down there. <laughs> I like I like <laughs> the stick figure over here. Who's was obviously surprised. I don't know how they got the uh, the emotion in that stick figure so perfectly, um, but it is quite nice. It's very quite funny. nice. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought at that one point when you were uh, putting up your studio, yeah, I thought you said there were some LED lights that were too bright. Very bright LED lights. So I sent you the a sheet dims. of light dims. These are perfect. And they're little. They're little peel-off stickers, and you just stick them over the LED. The LED it cuts the light coming through the LED by, I think, fifty percent, so that you'll see the LED. And uh, you can see it, just what? just how effective they are. Um, so you just right here. Uh, 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 there we go. Perfect. Oh see yeah, how effective perfect. that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, 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 
hopefully I can get it off the uh, the TV or. Uh, oh, oh my word! We might oh have a word. problem. Ah. Stuck go. forever now. Ah, it's gonna there look we go. Like, like there's something wrong with two pixels. Oh, there we go. This is, this anyway, thank you, Post for Office, for uh, yeah, no, it's the, that's why I love priority uh, 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 flat rate. Is you tend to just stuff stuff in it. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I really cannot believe $5 is, uh, is quite an affordable price for shipping yeah. something from New York to Los Angeles um, in, two, in days. two days. Yeah. Very affordable. Yeah. Well. And I lucked in. I didn't have to go to the post office. I was walking out the door and a mail truck stopped at a red light and I ran <laughs> to the guy and I said, waved sir, it. Sir, I said, sir. any chance? And he, he said, yeah. He slid the door open, throw it in the mailbox. That's perfect. That was perfect. That perfect. is just perfect. Perfect. Perfect, I say. With that, I guess let's jump into some gadgets. Okay, so yet another Bluetooth speaker, but there's something special about this, and we'll talk about it after we see our first video. The keyboard told on Mads Mattis to write it, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Another Bluetooth speaker, but if you were in a store and you saw a Bluetooth speaker in packaging that was doing this, would you Whoa! be attracted to it? And if you could push this button and it did different things, you would be very intrigued. All right, so I'll tell you what happened. This actually was a working, actually you would push this and it would go through all the different things it can do. And I thought, oh, I'll take it out and look at it and then put it back in. And somewhere there's a little spring or something that was in the packaging that got lost. Uh, it was in demo mode. Really there's no way to get it back. Uh, packaging for <laughs> yes. this uh, device which means also that they have to charge it before it leaves the factory. So it's fully charged when you get it or as charged uh, as how much power is left <laughs> after everybody in the store has uh, been uh, done playing with it. So this is from JAM, J-A-M, and this is the JAM Trans Mini Wireless Light Show Speaker, okay? And Looks like a disco a floor. Little, uh, button oh, up yeah. here that shows you the different light shows it can do. And did it stop showing light shows? It, oh, it reminds, that. So it just reminds them of the TV simulator. That, oh, oh that. you know what? You're absolutely right. And, oh. I don't know why it stops there. And then you can go in and you can, you can uh, do brightness. You can shut it off if you want. Oh, and, that's bright. Uh, what else does it do? And over here is, oh, if you want, you can freeze it to do just one single color. Okay? And Bluetooth, built-in microphone. The price is really good. It's 39 bucks. And now, let's hear what it sounds like. So I paired it, hopefully, to this phone. This is a Galaxy S4. And let's see if... It's still paired, and we'll see. Boys, it's time for you to wake up and smell. No, okay, we we're not going to play that. We're going to play. Oh, wow, I was doing this. a little EQ. That's amazing. It's a brand new day and a brand That's new really cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah. And I'll be yeah. here. Yeah, Gizwiz theme, except we're now at gizwiz.tv. So, a rubberized case, three hours of charging, gets you five hours of music anywhere. I think the sound is really decent for the price, 
built-in microphone so you can also take uh, speaker calls through it you can run it without lights my guess is without lights it might run uh, usually probably double that um, and small enough for a backpack and $39.99 but wait there's more I was shopping around earlier and it looked like Walmart and BH Photo have it for $29.99. So I think that's a really decent price for uh, what seems like a well-made speaker. I think it sounds pretty good for uh, especially the $30 price. And who doesn't like a little mini light show? So I would recommend if you're into lights and you need a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, the Jam Trans Mini. And the fact that it's the Trans Mini means, yes, there is a big popper trans. And that's about $80, and it's about twice the size. But this little guy for travel or your desk, I think that's great. Jam Trans Mini. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I'm stuck on red. Uh oh. Bye. Yep, yep, <laughs> I was, but I'm not now. I'm not anymore. fully colorized. Look at that. Now. That looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, the packaging is really neat. So, what it was was that little uh, tab, and as soon as you pushed it, uh, every time you push that little tab on the top of the box, it would do a different little light show. That's very neat. And I was thinking, boy, what a what a great uh, sales thing for the sales floor. Um, and then, as I said, I think the sound is really nice. And the twenty nine buck thing, the twenty nine ninety five th ninety nine thing, is a is a really decent price. Let me just, yeah. So that, oh. It, this there is on our studio mic here. It's a brand new day. Isn't that good? Yeah, I like that a lot. Baby gives me when it's street. Five more gadgets, five more shows. We're gonna keep Nicky on his Okay, I won't... Boy, yeah, we're... that's really good. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. I just played it through all mics because uh, all mics are a little better than it was coming through that camera. Right. Let me just shut that off. Okay. Stop. It's so good, it doesn't stop. <laughs> it <laughs> Until just wants to it's keep done. On. Uh, also, auxiliary in, so you can use it if you have devices that are not Bluetooth. So. Yeah, and that's also sometimes nice for the for the less technical. You just say, oh, you just have this cord, you plug it into the headphone jack. Yes, yes. It's well, we had someone, yeah, someone on the show a few weeks ago was saying that. They just plug an old iPod into uh, a speaker jack. Yeah. Because they don't have Bluetooth. So yeah. this is uh, perfect for that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. Um, I like it a lot. Yeah. Okay. So that is gadget number one. Gadget number two, I have an idea that you're going to think this is clever. Okay. okay. Um, it's something called StickBot. S T I K Bot. And it came in the mail and with, with the press release. And it says, you know, this is a new social media toy. Social media toy. Social media toy. And I'll tell you why they say that. Is that kids will use this, make stop motion movies, and then share them on social media. So if you want to close to uh, uh, cut to my close-up camera, this is what a little stick bot looks like. Hmm. So they, he's a little articulated guy. Are those little suction cups on his hands? They're little suction cups. Oh, that's adorable. So, like you can stick them on walls and, and things. And, you know, it, I don't know why my camera is breaking up so badly. Yeah, but, it's a little weird quality. but Yeah, for sure. stop action, it's... I think it's 10 frames. You have to shoot 10 pictures for one second of video. So you run that little, uh, it's a little two minute thing that shows you exactly how to work this thing. Perfect. And we can, yeah. Make a stop motion movie in seconds with StickBot and the free StickBox Studios app. Once you have the app downloaded, get ready to set the scene. Stop motion movies are made up of individual photos. So you'll take a photo each time you move StickBot.
Make sure to place your phone or tablet in a secure position by using a tripod or resting it against something. You want it to stay steady while you shoot. To take photos, has to be absolutely the steady. in the bottom right corner. You can zoom in and out right above his head. Oh, it shows a nice preview. The camera icon switches which camera you use, front or back. The clock lets you put the camera on a timer up to a 10 second delay. The gear lets you change your settings. Pretty good. If you have headphones with separate volume control, you can use it to control the camera shutter without touching the screen. And if you forget how any of this works, just hit the question mark. The app makes movies at 10 frames per second. That means you need to take 10 pictures for every second of your movie. Hit yeah, the menu you icon okay. to see the videos you've made. When you're done, you can add music and sound effects. This is kind of add the fun sound part, too. With the landscape icon, you can either record a voice or choose from the library. You can add multiple sound effects or pieces of music to your video. I'd use that one made. a lot. <laughs> To hear the finished product, share the video to your camera roll and play it. <laughs> when you're done, upload <laughs> it to YouTube and share on social media <laughs> with hashtag stickbot and see what everyone else has made. That's pretty stickbot. cool! Uh, yeah, I thought it was cool and also what is a big determining factor of, of me showing something is is the the uh, price so i thought i thought it's pretty reasonable um a single stick figure is five bucks oh yeah but you're you're way better off i think it's a much better deal if you buy what's called stickbot studio and stickbot studio is two uh of the guys and the little tripod for your camera for 10 bucks. And the app is free. So yeah. I, I, think kids, I think kids have a lot of fun with this. Yeah, Especially I the agree. God, this should have been my gadget it. under $10 this week. Man. Oh, you know what? You're right. This is perfect. That's so you're, cool. You're right. Um, it comes with, yeah, it comes with a little tripod so you could keep your, your phone steady. And two, yes, two and, and I would do what, what 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 she said in in the video that if your headphone uh, works as the shutter. Um, oh, you yes. know what? I actually this is kind of jumpy, so it's it's not critical. I'm, I'm thinking that we're doing uh, you know something from Wallace and Gromit where right where it has to be absolutely perfect. Right. Uh, since these guys jump around a lot, that little tripod that comes in the uh, uh, Stickbot Studio is probably enough. But and the little suction cups, so you can put it up against walls. You can stick it down on the table. You can make it climb things. And then they already have a fair number of uh, videos online already that kids have made, or they they, they made and said kids made them. But I I, um, I think it's probably going to be successful. Yeah, I think this is a really really cool um, uh, idea, and it's so uh, this seems like a great gift. Um, you know, you're absolutely right. You know, uh, it's a it's a ten buck gift yeah. that I think people are going to go. Wow, that's really unusual. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I if the kids like it, they'll be busy for hours. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Ma, I just spent five months in the attic, <laughs> and I made <laughs> a this forty-five masterpiece. second video. <laughs> I, I made, made a the forty-five next second video. Fantastic, Mister Stickbot. Um, yeah. Yes, that's. Uh, I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. And I remember going to a summer camp at a, it was a local art uh, school, and we did stop motion animation there with clay and stuff. And it was so cool to learn how to do that. And it teaches you about movies and how every frame is a movie is just a photo. And it's a, yes. it's a really cool, cool thing. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Very Excellent. Cool. Very cool. Excellent. Now, the next thing is so funny because uh, tell people how you cut your Oh, hand. my gosh. So, so just the other day, um, I was checking, you know, I was, I was about ready to go to bed, looking at my computer, 
and I have a MacBook, and MacBooks are you know, all aluminum body, so I set my MacBook to the side and fall asleep, and throughout the night, moved around, and at some point I found that my, my hand rested against the edge of my MacBook, and it was so sharp that it actually ended up cutting my hand right here, so I had this cut on my hand because at some point during the night I had I had you know rested. You were sleeping. I had you know rested like this or something, and the computer was right there. My my computer cut my hand in the middle of the night. Ouch. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, now if you're the kind of person who falls asleep and sleeps on things, here's something you might be interested in. You're telling me this? Whoops. Sorry. This is for me. No, not. This is for you. Okay. And, and people, are you a nap person? Stop that for one second. Oh, yeah. Are you yeah. A nap I am definitely a nap person. <coughs> okay. I take yeah. naps uh, all, like, my, my friends get mad at me. I take so many naps. I'm yeah, a nap no. Um, I saw online that if you take a nap, you, uh, let me just look at you. Uh, dun, 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 dun. You increase productivity by, I don't know who made this up, you can increase your, pro your pro productivity by 34% just by taking a nap. Now, there you I'm go. One of those I'll use that as an a excuse. A 20-minute nap really works for me. 34%? I'm going to be 34% better after I wake up from a nap. There you go. Except you'll have a cut hand because Except you fell asleep hand, on yeah. your computer. Yeah, exactly. Okay. My so hand now you cut. can run that video. Okay, here we go. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Med, is driving to end the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Do you remember the ostrich pillow? This was oh, no. a way for you to sleep on airplanes, did, on your Did desk. you have one? Uh, we and had it at it Twit, and I put it on, and it is weird. It your head, and then it had holes for your arms. And it was wildly exp uh, expensive. Leo Laporte at Twit bought one of the first ones, 90 bucks, okay? Then everybody started ripping it off. And it was from a company called uh, Studio Banana Things. Kind of a Studio fitting name Banana for a company things. that would make something so weird. Well, now, Studio Banana Things has Ostrich Pillow Mini. Mini? Okay. Now this, I, I would never have the nerve to, even in my own office, I wouldn't stick my head in that. This, um, maybe, yes. So, there are little micro beads in here. Can you feel them? <laughs> Can you hear them? Oh, wait, my mic's here. Um, and so the object here is, this to me makes a little more sense. The object here is you could put it on your finger like that. Okay, and then if you this is this this would work I think in a car or an airplane. Oh, yeah, it's like a little hand pillow. Seat, yeah, this is pretty. You could sleep against it or a train. This would be pretty good, or you could actually put it on your arm like this, and in theory, have to, uh, probably take your glasses off and sleep with it like that. And that's no, not pretty comfortable. too bad either. So this came out, and this was, I forgot what it was. I think it was $25. Yeah, it was $25. And bucks. Well, it still is recently, $25. Recently, it ended up on one of those deal of the day things, and it actually is from Studio Banana Things, and it was one of those daily things for $9.99. So this is the Ostrich Pillow Mini, and like I said, it, it does feel good. The, the, the fabric is nice, and I think for sleeping against a window in a car or something, it would, it would be good. And it's not, and this, this, should, this would take up all the room in your entire suitcase if you wanted to take it as a travel Yeah, that, that's supposed to be a travel uh, this pillow. This is not that's... so bad. This you could that throw in a pillow. Head. I think it's supposed uh, to be an embarrassing pillow. Knapsack. So <laughs> this I probably will take on an airplane with me. Uh, and I think it makes a little more sense. So you can check out Ostrich Pillow Mini. Maybe you can find it on sale. Like I said, I only paid uh, $10 for it. And there are lots and lots of knockoffs of, of uh, the Ostrich Pillow. And I see them on Amazon, the big guys that 
come down over your head uh, for around $25, okay? Uh, maybe they're from the original company and they're on their way out now, I'm not sure. But anyway, Ostrich Pillow Mini, Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Mattis, Ryder, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Or just watch this once again and you'll sleep like a baby. <laughs> That's so perfect. did you actually put that other thing on? Yes, it's the, weird the original one because it's it's really a pillow for one person. You don't ever want to share that pillow with another. You, it's too it's too close to your face. You know what? Uh, I have split. a link there. Go, go so people can see, see a better picture. Uh, yeah. So here's the mini. Uh, let's. There's the ostrich pillow. Right. Is just right down here. It. You're you're supposed to use this little hole for your face so your your nose and mouth go through it and then there's two holes for your arms for right your arms yes to stick your hands in look at this there, guy th very this. comfortable now, this fellow uh who would do this and there's another way to sleep i don't under i don't know i really don't know now, it, that, that doesn't even look comfortable to me we could watch this yeah. video of this hi this is this fellow, he's quite loud. And we created the ostrich pillow. Perfect companion to nap pretty much anywhere. Is it? Be it for an expense <laughs> pound nap at work, uh, for goods. I don't I don't know about this. I think I think it's been it's been made fun of uh pretty pretty wholeheartedly by everyone. Yeah. But you know the funny thing is on Amazon there's companies selling it still for a hundred bucks. Yeah. There are companies selling it for eighteen bucks. Yeah, this is a hundred dollars. Jeez. Yes. And oh, I also yeah. put a link on my website. I, I did find the ostrich pillow mini uh, for eleven dollars or twelve dollars and, and the mini makes more sense you you don't mind throwing that in a backpack no and it you makes don't sense mind why some... it would be on your arm yes oh but who I, I mean who would stick their head in that thing no uh, no, no self-respecting <laughs> traveler that's for sure no also it must be hot as hell in there no joke no joke. And yeah. it feels like it gets all sweaty and weird. Like after, you only want to use it once. It's $100 yeah. for a nap. Um, I like the mini. <laughs> I, I got to say, the mini makes sense. It stays on your arm. It doesn't move. Uh, for some reason, there's a human, like, I don't know why, but I always fall asleep like this. Like, I have to have an arm underneath my head. Oh, and, yeah, this is perfect for you. Know, you know, and that's perfect. Could, yes. That's perfect. Yeah. So, so uh, that works out really, really well. The ostrich pillow mini... Uh, you found it for under ten dollars. Uh, it looks like yeah, I, I paid nine ninety nine. But then there's a link on my website where it's I think eleven dollars. And did I not put the link there? Oh, uh, I I just found this on Amazon here. I could probably. Oh, find okay. It on uh, if you if you go to gizwiz.biz, there's there's a link uh, down under the picture there, and uh, I think it says and I found it here for eleven. Yeah, for under twelve dollars. Under twelve bucks. Right. There and is. free shit there, yeah. Now, I, I've never bought... Have you bought anything at Focal Price? I've no. seen their name, but I haven't no, bought I anything that. there. Anyway, it says 11-something and free shipping. And so there's a, there's a possibility if you're that's interested in that thing. Yeah, that's not bad. Perfect. Well, before we get on to uh, my corner, we have to yes. thank our sponsor for this episode, and that's Harry's. Uh, Harry's is yes. the place for you... Uh, to fix a problem that almost all people have, men, women, that's paying way, way, way too much for overpriced razors. Uh, let's be honest, getting razors is not fun. Uh, you go to the store, they're, they have security guards, and they're behind... Like, they're uh, locked. I know. They're I, locked I, thought that was just in, I thought that was just in New York City. I said they locked in Petaluma or in yeah, LA too. Yeah, in LA. Yeah, no, you go to the store. I mean, that, I, was, I was exaggerating with the security guards. But yeah, they're behind plexiglass. You have to call yes. someone over. 
to unlock these the razor, you know, just normal shaving blades. It's absolutely ridiculous. And so Harry's has come up with a fantastic solution that you should know about. You go to harrys.com, that's H-A-R-R-Y-S.com, and you can choose between a whole bunch of different sets. Uh, I, I got the Winston set, the Truman set, sorry. And the Truman set comes with uh, one handle and three blades, along with a, a handy carrier and a shave gel. And absolutely, all of these products are very well made. I absolutely adore them. And the shave blades, gel smells great. It really does. It really does. Yeah. For a guy, it's kind of hard to find um, shave gel that, that doesn't have like that, uh, a flavor or a smell that would, could be described as sport or fresh. <laughs> or, you know, it's just, it's just a kind of a nice, uh, I almost want to say like woody or earthy smell. It's just really, really refreshing and nice. I really like the shave gel a lot. Um, and you can also choose between different uh, colors if you want the Truman set. So, you, so if there's a color that suits your fancy, you can do that. Um, and then they'll uh, ship, uh, you know, blades to your house. The, the blades at uh, Harry's are very, very well priced. Uh, look, you can get, wow, you, you get a Harry blades for $2 or less. You can get some uh, essential refills for uh, 31 bucks. That includes two shave gels. You even have a sensitive skin refill set here as well. Their blades are made in Germany in their own factory. These guys really know how to do it right. So uh, they, they, they really have absolutely everything uh, that you need. And we have a deal for you. If uh, you want to test it out, go to harrys.com and you'll get $5 off your first purchase with coupon code GIZWIZ. Um, and uh, that's G-I-Z-W-I-Z. -I -I and please test it out. That's harrys.com, H A R. RYS.com and use code GIZWIZ at checkout. And I'm positive that you will really enjoy the experience. Uh, it's, a, it's a better shave experience at a fraction of the cost. And we thank Harry's so much for their support of the GIZWIZ. Thanks, Harry's. Yes, indeed. So with that, I guess it's time. All right, so I showed some things that I didn't mean to, but I showed several things that were under $10. But the Patreons have demanded this month that you show things under $10. Under $10. So let's go over to Chad's yo, crappy. Yo, you need it, but uh, you uh, might uh, want going back to Petaluma here. Okay, he's vanished crappy. behind oh, the Petaluma drapes. Uh, uh, it. And oh, wow, oh. this sounds like a lot for 10 bucks. Yeah, it was uh, quite a lot of work in there. Okay, I'm back. So, the right. funny thing about uh, items that are under $10, they ship yeah. incredibly slowly. Um, <laughs> I see, okay. Yeah, so I was expecting to get some different products. They haven't arrived yet, and so I had to make a last-minute uh, run to a store to find something uh, else that wasn't on the, on the normal plan. But okay. I think I found something that's really... That's in our vein of, of things. Oh. One of the most popular gadgets we ever talked about, and it just keeps coming up, is that silly disco ball light uh, that yes, has LEDs yes, yes. and spins around and stuff like that. So uh, near me there is a large guitar center, and so I went to Guitar Center hoping to find something uh, under $10 that, that would impress. So uh, I ended up finding this guy, and it is... A mini LED strobe light. So if you have uh, oh. if you have epilepsy, maybe maybe t turn off the stream now, or at least uh, skip forward ahead in the uh, um, <laughs> in the uh, broadcast in the uh, recording. Ooh. And so this little light, a strobe light for ten bucks. Under yeah yeah yeah. This was uh, it actually says right here at the top. Oh, it doesn't say the price, but I thought it would. I thought I was okay. going to have, but yes, okay. trust me, it was only ten dollars, um, and it is battery powered. Now you can tell this. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, one way to get it open. There we go. I've already oh, okay. opened it up and put batteries in here. Uh, it does use a little uh, screw. You have to un unscrew that, and then it is four okay. double A's in order to power. Now my okay. strobe light. 
comes comes with some extras. You can hear them rattling around mm. inside of this the strobe light there. Mm. So uh, so <laughs> that's exciting. Um, it has a it has a kind of a crummy little uh, way to to point it up up and down. It, there's no way to tighten that. So so that's all you get. I see. Okay. You can see. Uh, inside of the strobe light device, all that is is just two little LEDs in there. Oh my gosh! So you got you got two LEDs. You got a, a piece of plastic that's not actually quite attached all the way to the front of the strobe light, but hey, it gives the impression that you have glass on there. Not really sure what the vents on the top of this are. are I are think it's for. to make it look like it's yeah, interesting. I think, I think so too. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. On the back there is a uh, an on/off switch. And a dial to, to turn a up speed the dial? speed. Yep, yep. You got a speed. So this is this is fast. This is slow. Here we go. SOS. SOS. And we'll we'll go fast again. Oh. Okay. So uh, let's turn off these studio lights just so so we know what it looks like here. Um, okay. Uh, just give you a better impression of of how how amazing. This uh, battery-operated strobe light is. So here we are. <laughs> it's it's quite a uh, defined beam, I would say. Uh, we can turn this up just a bit. But yeah, it's uh, it's not really what I would call a, a wide throw. No, you know what? Is it a strobe or is it a blinking light? I mean, here's a strobe function. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to turn that down. It, oh, that, that looks a little better. Yeah, so that's full strobe effect. The thing is, is that normally a strobe light, what makes it so um, amazing is that it fills the room with light. Yes. And such bright light that everything else can't be seen whenever, uh, and this is at its slowest setting, this is... It's, uh, it, <laughs> Bleak says, that's a blinking flashlight, is, is what that is. Um, oh, my. So that is, is the strobe light here. Let me go turn back on, uh, on the lights here and, uh, so I can continue my review. Now, just like the, uh, the, 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 what is it, the, the bulb, the disco bulb that we found, um, yes. when you search online... There's a few places that are selling it quite a lot less than what you would buy it for in a oh, traditional store. Oh, you know store. what? Uh, I'm, um, I'm seeing it for $7. Do you see the one for, uh, for $7? So I see, yeah, yeah. Here's the Amazon one for $7. Uh, Look at the reviews. Reviews. Too two small. customer reviews. Very small. Very small. Oh, this is actual uh, exact. This is a real size there, uh, that, that image. Um, actual size. Uh, very small and uh, it's okay. So not only that, but I found uh, another place online. This one is for $4. A battery app operated uh, strobe light. So this is four bucks. I'd say, I don't recommend it. No, I, I was looking at one of the reviews said th that the LED on my iPhone is brighter. It, it actually probably is. It probably is. I kind of want to go turn off the lights again just to just to experience that. Um, here's here's, uh, 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 maybe not. But eh, you know what? Maybe it's, I it's don't know. just something that hanging from the ceiling. It looks important. It does. You know, this would be a great prop. You're right. If if you yeah. had a few of these, you would think, ooh, something's going on there. Right. <laughs> don't shake them. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's more like a warning, a bike warning light, says uh, Dr. Mor Morpheus. <laughs> it needs you know, more LEDs. In New York City, we used to have a, uh, a place called Canal Street, and it's now it's a very upscale thing. And Canal Street was all like uh, a, a lot of stuff from old ships and old factories. And they were just boxes of stuff with wires hanging out of it and I went in once and there was this timer with all of these windows and, and, and setting it and I said to the guy uh, uh, I said to my friend oh god I love that and he said well find out how much it is I said 
it's got to be hundreds of dollars because look at all those timers. And he said, go ask. And I went in and, and I said, how much is that? You know, the thing with the 15 timers. And he said, $50. And I said, $50? I'll pay 40 And he said, oh, you can have it for 40 So I bought it. And, and Chad, I really had no idea what it was. But I thought, this will look so techy on a shelf. Yeah. And I, I had a friend who, who said, uh, I'm an engineer. He said, you know what? I've seen that somewhere. I will give me the model number. And I'll get back to you. There was no internet back then. And a couple of weeks later, he dropped by again. He said, okay, you know what that thing is? It's an industrial timer for factory furnaces. Huh. It turns furnaces on and off for different units in a building. And that's oh, what so it's like a, a furnace like in a heater, like a it, yes, yes, heater exactly. type thing. Exactly, exactly. And, and so there is some value <laughs> to things that look like they're important. Yeah. But don't do anything uh, provided you can get them cheap. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I think you might have $4 worth of uh, – oh, yeah. well, you paid 10 though, I paid right? 10 but I think I have 4 yeah. I think I have $4 worth <laughs> of, uh, uh, of uh, interesting <laughs> That's um, LED. That's very funny. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was hoping that I could somehow trigger it some way. No, it's not possible. So, anyway, that is uh, the the my crappy corner living up to the name of the. <laughs> just realized it has bright LED mini strobe with speed from V. This, for, I, you tell is me. Is it VJI or something? You could you tell me if you could. Figure out what the heck that's you know what? supposed to name, be. I, I, I can't make out that. I, I don't know exactly what that logo says, but we, one of the mirror ball things that we bought has that logo on it. Okay. So they, they do make a lot of crappy stuff. Yeah, I assume. Yeah. Huh, interesting. So that is uh, my, my crappy corner. You too can buy it either off of Amazon or uh, we are buying this off of mcmelectronics.com for $4. So there's uh, both of those options. And with that, let's head into Nick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse Foghorn. What do you got? And our week? viewer video is not from a warehouse, but it is from Hong Kong, China. Whoa! Glenn Mo. And actually, Glenn Moe was watching last week because I said we have some videos from outside of the country and outside of Canada, and we weren't sending mads. And he said, uh, I'm resubmitting my video. All I want to do is share my favorite gadget to the net and to Gizwiz viewers. I don't need the mad. I'd like to introduce a gadget that can tidy up your office desk or home PC desk. It is called the iStick Digital stationary i had the flu that day so i may not speak well i'm not a native english speaker so you might have difficulty understanding me however we don't so let's watch uh glenn moe's video hi chad and dick i would like to introduce stick no stick. this is not a stick this is a chopstick what i miss stick is this huh this Gadget is called Stick, and in fact, this is a multifunctional home and office use gadget. There are USB ports, okay, three USB ports, card readers. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's like a phone charger, too. Focus, focus. Uh, which you can read MS card, SD card, XD card, and micro SD card. A mobile phone holder. But I don't have more a mobile phone, so I can put that as it's actually fit for iPhones and other smaller mobile phones. A multi 
storage box so you can put almost anything like patches uh, other uh, patches or any other crap uh, name card holder so you can put all your name cards here uh, oh business Mimo card holder card, that's good a uh, holder so oh, yeah, for, like, this is too big so get rid of it <laughs> uh, pencil holders so put you can put all kinds of pen pencils here and this is the and a photo slot so you can just place all your photos here <laughs> that's my student photo oh, and at last there is a letter opener so just simply place the letter here and slide oh wow, wow. then the letter is opened oh that's nice is oh, it amazing God. and how much is it it, it is 25 241 Hong Kong dollars, so oh. I have no idea how much in US dollar. And maybe you can find it on Amazon and eBay, maybe not, because I bought it from a local box shop. So that's all I would like to say. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> I love that video. Well, uh, and and um, if you go back to my website, Chad, yeah? he did, he did uh, forward two links where it is eBay looks like eBay looks like they have it for fifteen bucks. I think. Oh man. Um, yeah, there's that. Yeah. There's this is the Amazon one. There it is, $40. right? Yeah, and and then eBay. Oh, thirty. Thir that was oh, fifteen. Yeah, fourteen oh seven. Right. That's great. Yeah. Buy it there now. It price. Is. You're not even. Uh, you're not even trying to bid on that. No, fourteen oh seven. That so Glenn from Hong Kong. Oh, Glenn uh, is in the uh, in the chat room too. Oh, are you? Oh man, that was such a good video. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Fourteen oh seven. That's oh, nice. pretty neat. Pretty that is neat. Very neat. Uh, yeah, and uh, we had no trouble understanding you, Glenn. Um, he said, "I hope you can show my video. Uh, I hope to be in the chat room that day." And I, I used the chat name Lennon, L-E-N-I-N, -E underscore M-O, 1917. Yeah, and you just said, hello, hello. There, that is, is so, okay, that's a, I like that gadget a lot. And just the perfect, letter opener, perfect. I've never, have you ever seen a letter opener like that? No, that's, Me that's very clever. It's very, very clever. clever. I love it a lot. Thank you so much, Glenn. And with that. Yeah, so. Oh, go ahead. Uh, we're always looking for videos, and as you saw, when we say Gadget Warehouse video, it can be one of many things, like Glenn, something you found that you want to share. And that was kind of fun, you know, with USB uh, ports and a place of business cards and pens and the secret letter opener for under 15 bucks. Um, something you want to share, a piece of crap you bought and you want to warn people about, or our favorite, just something you have sitting around and you can throw out. Make a little video, two to three minutes. Uh, send us the link. And if you live in the U.S. or Canada, you'll get a Mad Magazine and an Alfred E. Newman photo. And just send it to mail at gizwiz.tv. Yeah, it's right there on your screen. Right. Mail at... <laughs> there it is. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Yeah, okay. The email will even blink. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So send us your videos. Perfect. And with that, let's move on to the letter. No. Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, the, the, uh, there we go. Our letter is from Adam Roberts. Oh, it's for you, Chad. Oh. The subject is helping Chad with ten dollar gadgets. Ooh, good. Uh, so you have to go. You have to go to my website again. Uh, he, uh, Adam Roberts, has two 
suggestions for you. The first one is cardboard quality 3D VR virtual reality glasses for the Google, Nexus, Samsung, etc. Oh my God, is it $2? It is. It's (laughs) $2.15. Okay. All right, there's suggestion number one. Wow. That's great. That's great. Yeah, things things we can afford. Yeah, finally. Uh, And Adam suggests also the mini Bluetooth gamepad controller. Uh Wait a minute. Uh, That's... That's a keychain. Oh, that's uh, oh, it, six bucks. So it looks what, like I've used it, these before, and basically they uh, connect to your uh, Android phone, and you can use it. Uh, you can like pair it with certain games, and then you can use a joystick and buttons instead of touching your oh, screen. Oh, oh, okay, okay. To use it, yeah. Okay. Well, Adam Roberts, um, and he, it's it says AR underscore red i assume that might be his name for the chat room uh so chad you can if you already ordered stuff too yeah. late but if you need suggestions there you go at these and if you prices are watching, at you these buy prices. it and whichever one shows up uh is the yeah one exactly we'll, we'll uh we'll it, review that's exactly. great that's a fantastic exactly. Yeah, and if you're watching, um, all the links to uh, everything we're doing here is at gizwiz.biz. Perfect. And I really want to thank all of the patrons we have on uh, our Patreon page. Uh, Here we are, the Gizwiz is creating the same dumb thing. Thank you, everyone, who is supporting the show. It's very nice. Um, and we give you guys a big, big thanks. And if you're, if you're a yes. supporter, you get some cool stuff every once in a while. We'll ask you about like what my crappy corner should be. If we ever have a question, um, we tend to ask the patrons first, so you get a little bit of inside knowledge. And as well, uh, we post every episode there as, uh, as a thank you uh, for for your patronage. Thank you so, so, so yeah. much. And if you'd like to join us, we could use some more support. It would be good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the uh, making plans to go to CES. <laughs> if, if, yeah, cheap. exactly. <laughs> going yes. to uh, going to conventions and uh, uh, other gadget shows. Not cheap. They don't pay us to go there. <laughs> no, no nope. one pays us to go there. Uh, no, nope, nope, and it's nope. so sad because when you make the hotel reservations, they they make deals with the hotels, and they have the block of dates that the show is. And they, you can check in up to three days before the show, and you can check out up to like three days after the show. And what's depressing is you also see the bracketing for all the prices. And normally it is like a cheapy, cheapy hotel like Circus Circus before the show is $39. And when the show begins, maybe... 169 yeah and a high a high price show uh, uh, a a good hotel during before the show is 129 dollars like the uh the hilton vacation club is i believe 169 before the show and during the show it is 469 yep. Yep. okay 469 a night yep Yes. Yeah. So going to CES is about a two thousand dollar thing. Yep. Not. It's not simple. It's uh, it's like uh, Minecon. Going to Minecon that convention. Just the plane tickets. Just the plane tickets to get over to London were two thousand dollars. I mean, it was just yeah absurd. Yeah. Well, absurd. you know, I normally make my CES reservations like in June, and, and I I forgot, and like right now. Coach to Vegas for CES is about eleven hundred dollars. Yeah, Whew. Whew. So, yeah, I know because oh. um, I believe one hundred and sixty-five thousand people go. Yes, so. a, lot, a lot of people go. <laughs> yes, a lot of people go. Uh, so thank you so much for your support. If you are a supporter, yes, Patreon it's, uh, people, God really bless helps. you. And there's also now a link if you if you just want to make a one-time contribution, that is doable. That's right on our site, gizwiz.tv. Look, there we are. We're live right now. So you can watch wow. the live stream whenever we go live. We go live 
on Thursday around 4.30 Pacific. We've actually been right on time almost every single week. Uh, Amazing. We've been, been doing great. excellent. Oh, Ooh, yeah. And uh, there's a chat room right underneath it. All you have to do is go to the website uh, when right before the show starts and... The front page will change. You can also subscribe in iTunes in HD or SD. Some people were asking. I got a, uh, a tweet saying the bit rate is too much. Try your, try SD video here if uh, if uh, the HD version is too large for you uh, on iTunes or RSS. You can also do audio, just audio. We also have a YouTube version, which is quite nice. Then you can see all of our previous episodes. That last week's we did the selfie stick. It's kind of a different. Different image for you. And also, if you want to support, uh, there's a link here to the Patreon page. And the one-time donation right here, we kind of made that button a little bit bigger. Here via PayPal is, uh, is where you, you click uh, to do those one-time donations. Thank you so much. And is that, a, is that about? Oh, make sure you play What the Heck Is It over at gizwiz.biz. Um, there on uh, the sidebar, you go click What the Heck Is It. And this object right here is what we're trying to figure out what it is. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious to me. Uh, this, uh, this is a, a core. You, you, uh, you know, slice open a watermelon. Uh, you put that in there to core out the watermelon. And you might be thinking, okay, I've, I've seen this type of device before. But what you're actually coring it out for is uh, for Roman candles. It's the perfect size for wow. Roman candles. Yeah, you stick Whoa. the Roman candles right inside. And then you got you have, you know, you, it's perfectly positioned to have your own fireworks display. It's uh, it's a it's a it's a companion product for fireworks. So, uh, I'm sorry I just gave it away. Uh, but uh, yeah, well, that's all right. I'll change it. Okay. That's... Sorry. Sorry. Uh, there are 12 man magazines for correct answers. And, and twice the amount uh, for funny, hilarious, or clever answers. And uh, it's, it, I think it's really cool. I have the Mad Magazine before it even hits store shelves. I yes, sir. I have it before everyone else. So uh, this is the uh, Mad Magazine uh, that, that you're playing for. Mine, someone wrote all over mine. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Man. They ruined it. They absolutely oh, devalued oh, gosh. it. Gosh. Ugh. Oh, man. Well, uh, I'm really happy that I have that. Um, so head on over to gizwiz.biz to play the game and send your answers to gizwizbiz at aol.com. That about wraps it up for this show. We'll see you next time on the Gizwiz. I'll be here.